A 17th century treasure recently brought back to life from her Brentwood storage facility is causing a bidding frenzy on the internet. 13 paintings valued at tens of thousands of dollars. New at 630, Chris Conti shows us why they are worth so much. We have furniture that I grew up with. Kim Wexted will be the first person to admit this was something my grandparents used pretty much every day. That most of the antiques in her Brentwood home we just don't have the space are by no means worthy of being hung in a museum. I just don't have a big enough house for everything. So, but while these paintings from her father's estate may not need much of a price tag, these were purchased by my uncle. There are 13 works of art on her dining room table, which are arguably priceless. My father had these hanging in his living room and he would say these are Rembrandts. These are original Rembrandts. It's not that Kim didn't believe her dad. She just had no real proof these etchings were actually from the 1600s and actually created by one of the most influential artists of his time, Rembrandt. It's pretty wild. Pretty incredible. Sentiment shared by art historians. It's amazing that they've survived. Allison Freeman is a project manager for everything but the home. They are responsible for selling these original works of art on the internet. It's magnificent. I mean, this is stuff I studied in my education. I I'm, I'm knew existed, have seen in museums, um, but to have them in your hand is, uh, I mean, there's a certain weight to that. 13 Rembrandts are likely worth tens of thousands of dollars. Kim, though, just wants them to go someplace where they can be maintained. We just don't know enough about how to take care of them. And I know there are people out there who, who do. Less about the value and more about the art being valued. Yeah, they're pretty incredible. Chris Conti, News Channel 5 HD. That is incredible. Bidding on these 13 Rembrandts ends Thursday night. For more information on how to get in on the bidding war, head to newschannel5.com.